Trying to get everything set up because we're going to be starting the new D and D campaign here pretty soon. Uh, anyway, we played Alien. Finally, uh, Hope's Last Day. It's an introductory scenario. It's in the core rule book. Um, <coughs> what did you do? You played. It was okay. Just okay. It was okay. I know no one liked the ending. No. <laughs> Spoiler alert, we had a TPK, which I saw coming a mile away, just based off of roles and decisions. Yeah. Then two of you went catatonic, and the rest of you just died. And then I gave them NPC, I made sheets for NPCs in case they died so they could keep playing, and then, and then they, they died as well. It was bad. <laughs> it was bad. <clears throat> so basically, uh, Hope's Last Day, if you've ever seen Aliens, it's the sequel to Alien, uh, it was late 80s, when it came out, early 90s maybe, it's old, but uh, basically it takes place on LV-426 right before Ripley and the Marines get there, it's kind of the story of what happened to the colony there, and they were part of the colony, and the whole point of the adventure is just to get the fuck off the rock before you're decimated and by the way of aliens. That did not happen. It did not happen. It did not happen. Uh, anything you can remember that you want to talk about? We don't necessarily have to go like full review. Just It's a game diary show. Uh, all those aliens in the uh, downstairs when they got called, they, uh, 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 were they in there? No, uh, no. when everybody got called in the shelter. Oh, yeah. And we went down there, basically everybody was dead. And we yeah. just took off running. Yeah, that was bad. They got cornered. Yeah. It was horrible. They had been fucking, a few of them had been growing for a few days at this point. Xenomorph life cycle is unbelievably fucking fast. But, uh, let's see. I have my notes printed off in my binder. Where is that? Finally, by the way, we might talk about this a little later, but I finally got my starter set for it. So. Okay. Shout out to fucking Humble Among, by the way, who gave me a shout out on, his, on the broadcast system. That was fucking fresh. That literally made my whole year. I'm like a big fucking geek. <laughs> um, situation, I basically gave you the download on that. What we do? 
go too much in the backstory. There's other people. Seth Gorkowski has made a review of this scenario. Like, he goes in depth. So it's fucking amazing. Check him out. We give him a sub. Hashtag not sponsored. Uh, we basically, we don't really do reviews that much. This is pretty much just like a, what happened in our game type deal. So who who all did we have? What uh, what were you playing? I was playing uh. I know. Uh, Brett was playing a kid. She was a teenager. Don't make up your mouth, Paige. Yeah. My wife was playing a teenager who was the daughter of the guy that owns Billy's Bar. Uh. So, Nate was played in it. I think he was a pilot. Uh, my son played in it as a Marine. I think he was a Marine, too. I think Gordon was a Marine. This is just the layout of the locations for the most part. It's not much on story. It's an introductory scenario. Most of the scenarios in Alien, it's a free link who makes it. Most of the scenarios are like a three X story, like a how a movie would play out. This is introductory, so it's only one act. It's only supposed to last you a, a few hours, but it's supposed to get you used to the system. Which, I, I had a lot of fun with. You were a Marine, weren't you? Where is this supposed to be? Um, right under your name, it says career. Yeah, Colonial Marine. You were Colonial Marshal, so you were in charge. Yes. Yeah. yeah, Bryce was a Colonial Marine. Yeah. So, yeah, we had two military officers, a pilot, and a teenager. Yeah. Running through this fucking complex, trying to get to the shuttle to get off. And that did not happen. Why didn't it happen, Dorian? Why? Did, what happened to prevent you guys from making it to the shuttle? The pilot. And the uh, pilot. Yeah. Because he wouldn't give me the key. And so here, here's all I'm gonna say. Every they're running through this place. They're trying to get out. And every time they encounter an alien, they are not quietly dispatching them. No, I like when we was in the vent, my gun, off, my gun fell and went off. Yeah, like they made a lot of noise, alerting all the surrounding aliens and avoiding most of them for most of the way, but they're constantly, I'm rolling for them, they're constantly on their tail. They end up being surrounded by what, six of them? Yeah, there and, then, and then a big one. Yeah, actually, the queen isn't in the adventure at all. I totally added that. That was supposed to be just a cameo that you guys were supposed to run from. You were not supposed to fight her. But y'all all started going down, so I was like, okay, maybe if I bring in the queen, they'll wise up and get the fuck out of Dodge. I was trying to, but... You were, yes. At this point, I think... Uh, Bryce and Britt had both gone catatonic. Yeah. And then uh, Nameless hopped up in the fucking the big mech, the power loader. And you were like, let's go. And the queen comes in and he goes, I got this. And, and you goes, hauled ass and he, he kept f trying to fight and got killed. And then I didn't have the key. And then the two Yeah, so you had to come me. back to get it and then got killed. So it was bad. It was bad. <laughs> Oh, shit. Like, we didn't even get to most of the events. Like, you didn't even get the stat sheet for the ship. It's right here. Hey. <laughs> but, like, dude, check how these freaking, the monsters work in this is so different than every other game we've played. So, you know how, like, for instance, we're playing, say we're playing D&D, &D, right? And we're doing a fucking combat. Uh, me as the bad guy 
will try to think, okay, what would this character do in this moment of combat? I pick what I think they would do and I roll for it, right? Same yeah. as you with your character. Same with you in this game. That's not how the monsters work in this game. How the monsters work in this game is I have to roll a d6, and then based on what I roll, it tells me what to roll for, what they do. So, like, if I roll a 6 on a d6, that's a head bite. They're going for an automatic kill. When the tongue comes out, like they did to uh, Britt's dad. Yeah. If I roll a 6 on a d6, that's what they're doing. I don't have a choice. Oh, so you rolled a 6, that's why they killed him? Yeah. Is that why you went... Remember that, that hypnotic gaze where they just hissed yeah. in you? Oh, they're so beautiful. Yeah, that's if you roll a one right here. <laughs> so, two play with its prey. That's when they were hitting that dude and then letting him crawl away and then hitting him again and then letting him crawl away. That's why, because I rolled that. Three, deadly grab. Four, ready to kill. Five, capture for the hive to be a host. Oh, yeah, it's bad. Where's the queens? Praetorian Charger and Queen of Hex. Call the Guard, Charge, Beastly Bite, Crushing Blow, Tail Spike, Head Bite. This game is fucking brutal. So, um, the way Alien works is it's D6 system and it uses a dice pool. So, like, let me see your sheet. We can give them an example, right? Uh, so, say you're going, you want to shoot one of them, right? You go for your ranged combat here. There's a three. You add it to the stack it uses. No, but they can't. You add it to the stat it uses, which is agility here. And then that three plus three is six. You roll six D6. If you get a six, it's a hit. Pretty simple. Yeah. Uh, what fucks it up is when you start accumulating stress, which is what fucked them over. That's why people started freaking out, because they started accumulating stress. For every point of stress, you add a different die in. It's still D6, but it's normally a different color, so you can tell them apart. Which, there, they work just like the regular dice, except if you roll one, you have panic. You have to roll for panic. And that shit is what can fuck you up. It can cause penalties to your rolls. It can cause two of my players to go catatonic, where they can't do shit. They, oh, they, just they were just frozen up while the aliens ate them. So, like that frozen. Like that was like that frozen. Something. Like they can move. They could, like they, they're paralyzed. Yeah, they can move. <laughs> it was bad. I like brutal combat like that though. But it, it just feels better when you survive it. You know? <laughs> it's better when you win, but I want you to work for it. I tried. Like the fucking Calvaxis battle. Yeah. On there. That was brutal. You guys had to magically rest. <laughs> I'm telling you, though, this, this upcoming, this sophomore year, it's going to be way fucking darker and way more brutal. So you're gonna have to play it smart. For me, everyone. Right. Ooh. There's gonna be scenes that we do where you're gonna think, for sure we're playing Call of Cthulhu, right? Oh, we're not. Like, there's some nightmarish shit in this game. Well, we can't go insane. Yeah, you can. Be prepared. Oh, 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 oh. No, Tim's got some high resolve. He went through a lot last year. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Which I'm like for that. Uh, did we support things that happened, or even things that uh, Jack here did that you think are noteworthy? Killing people. So this is going to be a fairly short episode, it looks like. Um. 
almost smacked the lady because she wouldn't give us the key. <laughs> the first lady that had the key. She was sitting yeah. in the chair and then they're trying to talk to her and she's not responding. So who was it that went up to the chair? I have no idea. I don't remember. I think it might have been it might have been Brett. But some one went up and they turned the chair around and of course bitch is dead. Her face has been ripped out. And they had a wall stress. Yeah, and then she had her key card still hanging, <laughs> and they had to pull it off, covered in blood and chunks and shit. Yeah, why do we have to go get the other key card? Because you got halfway down the fucking corridor before you stopped to look at it and clear the blood off and realized it was broken. Oh. So y'all went through all that gaining stress dice, and that card didn't, didn't even fucking work. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. I want me stalking the little kid. For walking down, she was walking. Oh, yeah, you were stalking a teenage girl. That wasn't weird at all. Yeah. A military officer stalking a teenage girl through the back streets. Something you need to tell us there, Dorian? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, anything else before we move on to the. Uh, See, when we played, I didn't have this, so we were using like Monopoly style dice yeah. and like I homemade some initiative and weapon cards and shit. I homemade a star map, but the official alien RPG starter set from Freely. Uh, I think I got this for like 40 bucks on Amazon. Uh, if you're into the uh, Alien franchise and you like role playing, big recommend. Uh, they, yes, they all died, but it was a logical conclusion, and I think we all had a pretty good time. Yep. So, we've got uh, these awesome personal agenda cards. Uh, help with role playing, backstory, stuff like that. Uh, weapon cards. It's got art on one side and stats on the other. Which one did that? Cool. Um, you had the uh, pulse rifle, right? Oh, uh, which is Three's 57 mag. 357 mag. That's the hit. Right here. Uh, pulse rifle. Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think these are NPC cards for the adventure that comes in here. It's here. Yeah, character art and then well, stats and notes and stuff. Uh, and then these initiative. awesome initiative cards. And that's how you figure out turns in combat. Yeah. A lot of this is like cards. Different. <laughs> We're used to like D20 systems, D10 systems, D10 percentile D10. systems. We're not used to a dice pool and cards. Uh, this is the adventure that comes in it. This is the next alien adventure we're going to be doing because I have a physical copy of it. The uh, Chariot of the Gods by Andrew Gaska, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, but this is, from what I understand, a full three act adventure. So this could potentially take us about two sessions to make. Uh, then... So, you've seen the other starter sets we have, okay? Yeah. You know how small the fucking rule books that come with them are. Are you ready to be amazed? Okay. Yeah. That's, that's, that's it's like yeah. twice. This is the, the, it's a very slim copy of the rules compared to the core rule book. Because I think that's like 400 and some pages, if not more. Uh, but this is amazingly thick compared to the rule books you get for D&D, for Call of Duty, or even Cyberpunk. So, 
This I love. Uh, it doesn't give you a lot of rules for creating characters, uh, but it gives you a gist of, you know, the stats and skills and what it all is. And you can actually, if you know where to go, get the core rulebook PDF for free, which is what I did, which is how we created our own characters to run for Hope Slash Day instead of using pre Um, let's see. This. We have some pre gens for this. I figured we could keep these for backup characters in case you guys die or something. Uh, but these are the pre gens that come for Charity of God. These are markers put on the map, like radar, like sonar. So they've got like the beep beep shit on one side right, and then on the other side, when you get to it and to see what it is, it gives you a silhouette of what it is. So it's got ships, it's got face hunters, chest bursters, xenomorphs, people. Right? Pretty fucking cool. And then, last but not least, one thing I fucking really love getting in these starter sets because. We use the fuck out of these maps. How many times do we pass fucking maps around the table? A lot. You know what the best part of this is, though? What? You want to see the ship you're going to spend a lot of time in? Yeah. yeah. I don't think we're going to have to uh, pass this around. Uh -huh. we'll just lay that on the table and put the fucking plexiglass on it like any other map. What is on the back of I'll show you in a second. Show them. Our awesome viewers. And then on this side, we have the star system. Oh. Whole fucking galaxy. Okay, so it was like the purple, like the light purple. The frontier, the dark purple is the United Americas. The yellow is independent core system colonies. The green is the three world empire. And is it orange it looks like? Reddish so, orange. Yeah. Is Union of Progressive Peoples. Yeah. The light is kind of glaring. But really big, double sided. This is going to come in very handy, especially for our next adventure. Uh, we might not be able to use the bonus map too often, but the star system map I think we'll get a lot of use out of. So, that is what comes in the starter set. Oh, and it comes with the official uh, Alien RPG dice, but I have already put those in dice boxes and put them up. <laughs> so I don't have them in here to show off, but it's a, you get a black set and a yellow set. Black set is all numbered, and then on the six, there's like a crosshair, and then it's the same on the yellow, except the ones, instead of having a one, it's a face hunter stick. Because black is base dice, yellow is stress dice. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it, I think. Not very engaging episode, I know, but it's been a while since we've recorded and I just got a bunch of new subscribers thanks to fucking Humble Among Them. Again, whoop, whoop, shout out to that motherfucker. He is the shit. Uh, go give him a fucking subscription. But uh, thank you to everyone that subscribed and watches. And let me know what you think and what you think I should check out next.